In order to do this work tonight, I wanted to ask if you would take a moment to slow down with me and to get into a different rhythm. And what I'd like to ask is that we enter a meditation together. And if you could just sit up nice and tall in what for you is a comfortable posture. Just make sure that the spine is extended and the heart is lifted and gently allow the eyes to close. Draw your attention inward now. Draw your attention into the breath. Take a deep inhale. Feel the inhale filling the lungs completely. Really slow it down as much as you can. Pause at the top and exhale slowly and see if you can set up a rhythm where the inhale and the exhale have the same speed. You're inhaling at the same speed as you're exhaling. Inhale again. Note the speed, note the, the, the length of the exhale, of the inhale rather, and pause. And exhale. So I want you to pay particular attention to the breath here and the details of the breath. So inhale again. Feel the breath coming in through the nose. Feel the lungs filling up. Notice the speed of the inhale. Notice the length of the inhale. Pause at the top. And exhale. Notice that the lungs release. Notice that the rib cage draws inward. Draw the belly toward the spine, getting rid of all the exhale. And begin again, inhale. Notice the speed and the length of the inhale. And pause at the top. See if you can equal that speed and that length for the exhale. Pause at the bottom. Inhale. Mentally noticing how long this inhale is. Pause at the top. And exhale. Pausing at the bottom. Create this equal length Inhale and exhale. Inhale again. And exhale. A deep inhale. And a full exhale. Deep inhale. And a full exhale. See if you can notice the rhythm of the breath. Simply that rhythm of in and out. Inhale. And exhale. Take your time. Be supremely still and present now. Inhale. And exhale. A 
a deep inhale. And a full exhale. Allow yourself to take five more breaths in silence, just like this. Take one more breath here in this rhythm. And exhale. Becoming fully present. Okay. Welcome. Make a mental note of the shift in your being before we began that small exercise and now. Okay. So the 10th step, continued to take personal inventory and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. The 10th effort, continued to take personal inventory, which when we made mistakes, we quickly corrected them. So how often do we make mistakes? I thought I could show you, share a screen and show you how I feel about that question. If I share a screen quickly here. This is a wonderful piece of art that I found and the minute I found it <laughs> I had to step right up next to it and have a friend of mine take a picture because it's so completely totally sums it up <laughs> so completely and totally on to the next mistake we human beings are going to make mistakes. We're going to do things that are hurtful purposely or inadvertently, consciously or unconsciously. We're going to be unskillful at times, even with all the work we've done to wake up and to grow up we will find that we continue to make mistakes. It is a part of the human condition. The 12 efforts and the 12 steps before them address the human condition. Many people think that those steps address the condition of addicts and alcoholics. Actually, it's just a spiritual program that addresses the human condition with a particular emphasis on the unique challenges 
and unique history and experience that people who struggled with addiction share. But these teachings put out by these steps and these efforts are simply addressing the human condition. So it makes perfect sense that as we get through the ninth step, the ninth effort, and we make our amends, meaning we're really energetically cleaning the slate, it makes perfect sense now with a clean slate, what would we need? We need a method to maintain the progress and the clarity and the cleanness and lightness of our being. Perfect that the 10th step, 10th effort would come along and say, you've achieved all of this, you have a clean slate, and now what we're going to need is a way to maintain that clean slate and grow upon the progress made to this point. I'm going to take a moment and address a comment that just came in in the chat bar, and then we'll continue. This woman, this very brave woman, says, I'm trying to get a day sober. And God bless you. And you're welcome here. And while we may be talking about uh, a concept that seems reserved for people who are further along the path, there's still goodness and things that you can get right here. One of the things you can get right here is love and support, phone numbers and emails from other people who are right here in this community who can support you. And you'll see in this chat bar that people are welcoming you here. Please don't be alone. This is a dis-ease that we can't face on our own. Nobody. No human being. So you're in the right place. Congratulations. Way to show up. Way to let us know where you're at. And um, you can private message with people, and people can private message with you. Um, her name is Jennifer, and um, she's very brave. And she's here, and we want to help her. So Jennifer, in the chat bar, if you go down to the little blue bar, it says All Panelists. Click on that and change the setting to All Panelists and Attendees. Then whatever you write, other people can see it other than just me. So welcome. You are in the right place. There's a lot of love and support here. And may you, may you um, dig into that. Okay? Thank you again for sharing. Blessings. Wonderful. Okay. So, it makes sense. As we continue down this road, we've done all this work of getting to this point to clean the slate. It makes sense that we're going to need a program of maintenance and growth from there. And so in comes the 10th step, 10th effort. And what we recognize is we're going to continue to make mistakes as we learn and grow. It's part of the human condition. And our effort is going to be to learn from those mistakes. And with this 10th step, this 10th effort, we're going to go to bed clean every day. Clean every day. Okay? So I want to read to you from Recovery 2.0, Move Beyond Addiction and Upgrade Your Life from this section in the book which addresses the 10th step, 10th effort. The 10th step is a mini fourth step that we do each day. When resentment arises, we take notice. We focus in on our side of the street. If we have been dis dishonest and noticed it, we fix it as soon as possible. Perhaps we were hurtful, impatient, or cross with someone. We apologize and own it completely. Usually, I am unable to move forward when I make such mistakes anymore. Um, for me, it's just too painful. It's just too painful. At the end of step 10, 
I give a little key, so the key to step 10. Each day we have the opportunity to practice being born upon awakening. We also practice dying as we lie down to sleep at night. It is important to consciously develop the quality of awareness in your approach to being born and dying each day. Sadhana means daily spiritual practice. Sadhana means daily spiritual practice. It is the central practice of our life. It brings us into alignment with our higher power and sets us up for the best day possible. Each morning, we practice yoga and meditate, thereby linking our finite self with the infinite self. At the end of each day, part of our sadhana, our practice, is to review what has transpired. Stay current and examine your own life. Observe the way you end each day and prepare for bed. Go to bed clean, energetically clean. Step 10, effort 10 will allow you to achieve this. Okay. Evening ritual, evening practice is so important. I don't get enough of it. And so many of us overlook it completely. We've had a day, we're tired. The last thing we want to do is like direct our focus and review. And yet when we do it, we get into that bed and we start to set a different rhythm for our life. We set ourselves up for rest and rejuvenation, and we're setting ourselves up for what's going to happen the next morning, which is our morning practice. This is so, so, so important. So I want to talk to you about evening ritual, evening practice. In the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, in this, in the 10th step, it talks about the review of a day. Where have I been dishonest? Where have I been resentful? Where have I maybe harmed another? Little mini fourth step, like I said. And it talks about a form of meditation. It refers to it as meditation. Sort of a a contemplation, if you will, of the day that's just passed. So here's one way. Here's a, a form, a structure. You take what, what works for you and leave the rest, but give this a try. Give it a try tonight if you're so called to do so. Hopefully you'll be inspired. Have a journal in your life. If you don't have a journal, tonight get a piece of paper and a pen. Have a journal in your life, generally. It's just too valuable um, a tool. And at the end of each day, I like to get down on my hands and knees, and I like to pray. And I like to, my prayer is a prayer of gratitude at the end of the day. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this energy. Thank you for this body. Thank you for all the love and people in my life. Thank you for all the work and all the opportunity. Thank you for the joys, the blessings. Thank you even for the challenges, the difficulties that I have, because I recognize that even in those difficulties, that's how I get to learn and grow. So there's a gift there. So I'm I'm putting out this energy mentally in my mind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's gratitude. At the end of the day, the the genius of that is you want to end the day energetically on the highest note, and it's hard to find a higher note than gratitude, pure gratitude in the cells of your body. So grateful. Thank you so much. It's thank you so, so much. 
and I'm reviewing the day in my prayer. I take a moment, and I go silent. I review how I woke up. I review my morning practice. I review my relationship with my wife because I live with her. She's closest to me. We spend the most amount of time together, more than any other person. Right now, one of my dearest friends, Dr. Andrew, is living with us, and I review my relationship with him. How were our conversations today? Was I present? How was my attitude? How did I show up in my relationships today? What did I do? Did I contribute in some way to the Recovery 2.0 community? That's my vocation in the world. That's my work. And that's my joy also. Did I set out? Did I set an intention in the morning that was completed or not completed? Did I feel anger, despair, sadness, grief, jealousy, rage? Did I feel joy, connection, love, peace? How's my body? How am I in my body today? Did I feel pain and discomfort? Is there something that I need to work on? Is there something I am working on? How's my relationship with food? I go through this questioning, and it is so, so helpful for me to see where I am. If anything is bothering me as in terms of something that I don't want to forget, something I need to remember, something that when I wake up in the morning, I don't want to forget that I had this thought or this download came to me and it's important, it feels important to me. I write it down in my evening journal. And then I can let it go because I know that tomorrow I can look in my evening journal and I'll be able to review what my thought and feeling was the night before and I'll be able to return to the thing that I wanted to complete or that was on my mind or that I wanted to remind myself of. If I don't write that in the journal, it carries a little energy in my mind and it really prevents my mind from fully letting go. Do you guys know what I mean by that? That when there's something, just even a tiny thing, that you still hold on to, that it will prevent the mind from fully being able to release. So what I do is I use the journal as the tool of where those things go. So Kate is asking, is there a template for 10th step contemplation? Um, there, there is one. We've written one. Uh, I've written one, and I will share it with you guys in the member Facebook page. And I'm hoping that you guys are all on the member Facebook page. Stacy will put it in here right now in case you're not. It is different than the global community Facebook page. We have a members-only Facebook page, and that's where I drop a lot of things during the week, including videos and things that will be relevant for members only. If you're not on Facebook, then we will make sure to send out an email with these assets and this, the content that you've asked for. Stacy will remind me. Thank you, Stacy. So there's the link in the chat bar for those of you who want to become a member uh, or uh, uh, want to join the member Facebook page. Okay. So I'm saying my prayer. I'm reviewing my day. I'm writing everything down that needs to be dealt with tomorrow or that I want to let go of before I go to bed. If something has happened that day where I have been rude or inappropriate or hurtful to somebody, if, if, if it's appropriate to call them, meaning if, it, if, they're not, if it's not too late and they're not sleeping, if I can call them, I will. Otherwise, I will write it down in my journal and I will take care of it first thing in the morning. Okay. Um, we will send out an email, you guys. Don't worry. Promise. Okay. So, after I've reviewed the day, 
after I've said my prayers of gratitude and I've written everything down that I think is on my mind so I can release it all. For me, I'm going to do a little bit of meditation, a little bit of meditation. So for me, what that's like is right then and there, maybe 10 breaths. The meditation is to begin to move me into a different space to move me from the physical into a more subtle spiritual place and I like to get into bed from the subtle space of spirit it's not long for me I'm right there I haven't moved I close my eyes I'm still in the prayerful state I've written everything down I needed to and I I do my, um, right bef- sorry, right before I do my meditation, my breath meditation, I picture myself doing morning practice the next day. I see where I'm going to be. I see what I'm doing. I see it in my mind. And then I begin to enter meditation. And for me, that's 10, maybe 10 very long and very slow breaths. 10 long and slow breaths. After that's done, I've turned my gaze and my attention inward. I get into bed and I let go completely and I rest. I love the evening ritual accompanied by three things for me. So that's the process. I love the evening ritual accompanied by three things candles or low lighting we have a beautiful salt lamp in our room uh, Kia and I and I love that Himalayan salt the pinkish glow we turn that on it's a, it makes a beautiful glow in the room or a candle and I love incense I also happen to love essential oil so certain oils that I work with that can help um, create beautiful dream states that can help create relaxation that can help create different kinds of things so I might be working with lavender or I might be working with um, 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 sandalwood or I might be working with even you know jadamansi or different different kinds of essential oils Um, clary sage beautiful beautiful things that that you can play with and learn about if you're interested Um, So whatever your ritual is that will get you there, I support you in that. Letting go, releasing, and then remember, it's, it's just so beautiful a way to end the day, to end on the note and the vibration of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you even for these challenges. Please, you know, in the morning, it's please help us to see our way through with grace and awareness, presence. Please help us uh, to move beyond the challenges to find the skillful ways through our difficulties. At night, it's just, you know, please, you know, I just want to express how grateful I am to have had this day. Even having gotten my ass kicked Thank you. Thank you. End on that note. End on that note. And 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 it's not it's not thank you, sir, can I have another? It's not that. It's I recognize that some days are gonna be like this. And it's such this is such a beautiful way to set yourself up energetically for what's to come the next day. So that's 10th step, 10th effort. That's the evening ritual, evening uh, practice structure. Sets you up for practice the next morning as you do your visualization, see yourself practice, and just a brilliant and gorgeous way to end the day.